multiple choice reciprocal functions. So in this series, we will discuss few multiple choice questions and I'll like cover them in a wide, wider perspective because these questions are asked in the test in different ways. Okay. So question number one here is, the reciprocal curve of a parabola may have up to two vertical asymptotes, may have a possible horizontal asymptote, has two vertical asymptotes, must have at least one vertical asymptote. So these are different combinations and some of them seem to be true. But we need to pick up the one which is better than others or most is perfectly correct, right? So let's first consider what is reciprocal of a parabola and how does it look like? As we see with the vertical asymptotes context, right? So these are the possibilities you can have parabola. So I'm just drawing three for you. So let us say one parabola could be like this, right? One could have just one root touching the x-axis and one could be like this. So these are different scenarios for a parabola and the reciprocals will have, in this case, we have two vertical asymptotes. Do you see that? Two vertical asymptotes. In this case, we have one vertical asymptote. I'm not really drawing the reciprocal of this, but we, you, I think, know about it. But in this case, there is no vertical asymptotes. Do you see? So as far as vertical asymptotes goes, we have two here and vertical asymptote is one here and vertical asymptote is none, zero, correct? Just to complete, in this case, if this value is let us more than one, then you will have a curve like this, right? Of the reciprocal function. Here, the reciprocal will be kind of like this, right? And in this case, it will be in three parts, it will be kind of like this. We just, I'm just sketching few rough sketches for you, just to give you an idea about it, right? Now, if you look into these four options, then may have up to four, uh, may have up to two vertical asymptotes is probably the best option out of all these, right? So we'll go for that, right? Now, may have a possible horizontal asymptote, yes, sometimes, but that is that is not the criteria here, right? May have a possible horizontal asymptote, well it may or may not have, right? At times, it may have just an oblique asymptote, correct? Now, must have at least vertical one vertical asymptote, that's absolutely wrong. We have seen that there is just zero there, right? Has two vertical asymptotes, no, it can have any combination, zero, one, and two. So the best option is A, right? That's how we are going to answer it, and that's the reason for it. Thank you.